to be up for the stream to actually capture it. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Liam, and uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name and is I Liam. left the stream audio yeah. on again, so I'm hearing myself. Um, I at some point recently have uh, uh, thrown together uh, pieces of a computer. Um, for the express purpose of uh, being able to play and stream video games, which I love. Um, uh, and I've uh, dragged along uh, two of my, uh, two of my uh, good friends, uh, my, my, my buddy Sean and my darling Corey. Hi! <laughs> I've made her uncomfortable with Pelias before we started, before we went up, so y'all can imagine <laughs> the lard conversation oh, again God. if you'd like. <laughs> Uh, but for the sake of all those involved, I will not do it again until he shows his beautiful, beautiful face that we all love so much on screen. Inevitably. Uh, anyway, Liam, you were saying. Uh, so we're gonna be playing some Radiant Dawn today. Um, we have a stop time ish today. Uh, we're gonna try and be done around six o'clock, which is in like a little over an hour and a half. So we might just we might we might only be able to get through one chapter today, but we'll see. We'll see how we long have it the takes weekend us. and shit, so like whatever, it's fine. What's up? We also have the weekend and shit, so it's fine. Yeah, we can we can do plenty on uh If you're listening to this in the future, you can probably skip ahead the next 30 seconds. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um now I have my phone plugged in so I can open uh, Twitch chat and know oh, what, just... if anything, is going on. Uh oh, Bread was literally help. watching us on YouTube and is now is now here watching us. On Twitch. Love. Well, that's great. How you doing, Brad? Hi, Brad. Bored. 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 Bored and bread. Zborg. Well, but I call this word bold and brash. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Um. <laughs> You're like the sword of weeds. No, nah, it's fine. We get stuck in the sword of weeds. But uh, here we have the announcer guy again. Lagu's warriors, led by Tormod, join the escaped prisoners, and Dayan's army grows ever larger. Its victories at Talrega and other key locations have strengthened its position. The army rides across the land, liberating prisoners from Benyan encampments. The Dayan ranks swell with the influx of veteran soldiers, and the men begin to dream of the day when they may retake the capital. Like a fever, conflict grips the nation. The night will be long before this fever breaks. All eyes turn toward Dayin's capital as the liberation begins what all believe will be a long and bloody march. And here we have Chapter 8, Glory Unwanted. <clears throat> Bread says, I'm good. Later is Catan night, but I don't know when. How are you guys? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Oh, Catan is so much fun. I've never played. I've always wanted to. Oh, it's so good. It's a whole game about resource management and, like, random oh, chance no. and stuff. It's what so good. I, what voice did I give this goober? Oh, you were you were Numita, weren't you? Yeah. <clears throat> you summoned me, your grace. I think he was very breathy. Jarrod, there is trouble. The Apostle has formed an in inspection team. She has dispatched it to Dayan. Ho ho ho! Muka te kuru no ka. I've arranged to meet with the Senate's Vice Minister, Duke Gados. really don't think this is his voice, but that's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, it is now. It is now. Yep. We do this live. Mm -hmm. If we ask him the favor, I imagine he could discreetly sweep their findings under the rug. Can I just say that I imagine Numita to take off the hat and have a face that's exactly the shape that like we see here? He just has an <laughs> incredibly cube-like head. And the and the and the hat like just sits on top perfectly. What a miserable and horrifying thought. <laughs> Bread says Catan is fun and pretty easy to get into. Definitely try it if you ever get the chance. Yeah, I'm down. Someone brings Catan to the table. 
I'm on board. But in the meantime, you must obliterate the insurgents. Once that is done, we'll devise excuses. Understood, sir. I think Sean was Alder. Sean has stream delay. I think I was. I don't remember what voice I did for him, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, we do it live. It's fine. Yep. Uh, are we at this, where the store? No, I don't want to store in him. Um, fuck, what do I want from this bed? What is the plan? Will the senators be able to cover the mess? Oh, we're kind of sorry, but not really. If the inspection team and the rebel army ever cross paths, even the senate won't be able to hide the truth. We'll lure the rebels to Shifu Swamp. We'll plant tales of a mass execution there, and they'll be sure to come. Then, we'll trap the malcontents and wipe them from the face of the land. All right, that's all he says, apparently. Yep. It's, it's amazing. My wound is healed. I, I give you thanks. I never thought, I never thought I'd see the silver haired maid work miracles before my very eyes. <laughs> Silverhaired Maiden, help them! You must help them! Help who? What's going on? Calm down and tell me. They're killing our men. I beg you, please save them! Y'all know the ability is called fucking sacrifice for a reason, right? Yeah, Micaiah needs a. Oh no. N Micaiah needs a can of lemonade after that one. Goddamn clown ass motherfuckers. Prisoners from Joad Work Camp are being collected in Shifu Swap and executed. <laughs> hey, it's Chris. And for that only Joe, there's reports of a plan to exterminate all prisoners in every camp and let the swamp conceal the remains. I've heard nothing of such a plan. It's a false rumor or an enemy trap. How you doing, Chris? Hello, my fellow plague upon this land. <laughs> That's apt. It may indeed be a trap, but if we don't investigate, we risk a mass execution. And what if it is a trap and they vanquish the Liberation Army? The dream of restoring Dayan to glory will die instantly. For the good of Dayan's future, we must ignore this threat. I understand. And that's why I won't take any troops. Only myself. And my old friends will go. The Kaya. Let her go. Drink your lard, Pelias. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get you? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, my God. Good. I heal. <laughs> If you refuse them your permission, I will go alone. Stop right there, little lady. I will not authorize this action without the prince's full approval. Then let him actually approve something, you bitch. <laughs> Zuko, let her do as she wishes. Please, she hasn't disappointed us yet. Prince. Uh, fine, but I can't help but feel as if these children are running your army. No, you're trying to run his army, actually, you fucking clod. That's the idea. Is mm, Yep, just just 
Who loves a shit stain, I guess. I hate him so much! Which one, Peleus or uh, Izuka? Yes. <laughs> that's that's what I was expecting you to say, honestly. I mean, if we're being honest, you pr Peleus is kind of really, like, limp-dicked, but, like, also, like, he's not, like, objectively shitty. No, he's 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 real... He, that's why I said he's a real milk toast, but he's not a bad guy, really. Um... I don't hate Peleus, but he's so spineless. No, he sucks. He, like, is lame. Hey, Edward level defense. I've wanted that for a while now. Um, man, everyone's getting to level 20. We might be able to just, like, class up so many people here. Um, while Liam is focusing on this, Brett, I think I have discovered the best thing to say in the song voice. I asked Liam and Corey earlier, and neither of them had a real straight answer for me, but I've been thinking about it, and I got it. Alright, cool. I said bleh. It's not, it's not <laughs> bleh. bleh. Listen, we all love bleh, but like, no, that's not the best one. I refuse. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waited time after time. I also just love that song. So, like, I'm biased. It's fine. <laughs> it is very good. All right, we got Nolan. Class change. Oh, yeah. That's something, uh, that's something I don't know if I mentioned before that's really cool about Radiant Dawn. Uh, the classes have three tiers in this game. Cool. There's Nolan. I, I also have three tiers and usually a couple more. <laughs> Sweet. And then let's uh, let's get Edward up there as well. Let's make Edward a swordmaster. I don't think I've ever actually done that before. Time after me. Soren likes to launch hard objects across the wooden floor. It's so loud when it shouldn't be. <laughs> We're talking about Bread's dog named Soren. I think I will cause problems on purpose, Bread. <laughs> hey, look at that boy. He's got a cool little swishy waist cape now. Let's play strategist or dog. <clears throat> nice. It's time for family... Oh my god, sword on family feud. It's just sword, Ike, Titanium, Boyd, and like, Wolf. Uh-huh. Now, we do get some interesting skills to play around with now. Uh, now that we have, um, Moram has shove, uh... Warm. Um, warm. Warm. But uh, Tormod has one called Celerity, <coughs> which is really cool yeah. because it increases your movement by two. Warm. The Grail Mercenaries versus the Dawn Brigade on Family Feud. But Celerity is very good. Okay. That should be really interesting, though. Yeah. I don't know who has. Oh, actually, uh, Edward and Nolan actually have um, some pretty good, uh, some pretty good, um, like, capacity now for uh, for skills because they because um, they just have the room. I think we put a. Yeah, I think um, Ileana we gave the that too. She's actually maxed on that right now. Nolan is no longer maxed on axe, nor is he on sword. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take discipline from Ileana for the time being. Uh, and we're going to give it to um, either Nolan or Edward. I think in this case we're going to give it to Edward so he can level swords a lot. Uh, Nolan now has A and Axis, so we're going to... Do you guys want to use Tormod? Yes. 
I'm indifferent. I, I was gonna say I'm indifferent. It's Corey's call. <laughs> Corey just know. wants to I, do a kid voice. I I honestly don't know what it is. I just suddenly really started to like Tormod. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> we could totally use Tormod. Oh, he's an effective fire mage, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if he has anything else other than fire. That's why I. He, he can use thunder and wind. Actually, well, yeah, it's fine. Uh, all right. In that case, we can uh, we can uh, throw Tormod into the mix. We can throw Kurt Angle into the mix. Mm. Um, and actually, that being the case, we might we might give renewal to um, Tormod just because. Just because. Because he actually has a really pretty decent HP stat and some good defenses and his healing is going to make him really good because it heals him it's gonna, now it's going to heal him for like uh, 17 every turn so it's going to heal him for half his HP all the time that's going to be cool um, Meg has fortune which cancels criticals but I'm really not that I don't care about that that much we did the XP we still have like a little bit but we'll save that for next time uh, what's good in the shop Worm Slayer. Bone by Grass. Mmm, that's good. Um, we're doing alright on these, though. Um, is there any more supports we can do? Might as well. Might as well, just for now. Uh, nope, don't leave base yet. Um, we will do some items, just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna give a door key. We'll probably have someone else take that. Someone with, like, a lot more movement. In this case, perhaps Tormod. Oh, well, he has one. But, you know, can't hurt. We'll give him a chest key as well. Um, Jill can't use lances yet. Am I, is that right? I think that's right. We don't have a whole lot in the convoy. There's not a whole lot to be passed out here, but I think we should give somebody pure water just in case. Who's got really bad res that we might want to put into a situation where they may need some more res? Maybe Edward. We'll have him take the pure water, and then we'll give door keys to... You've got one. We'll have Jill take one. And we will have... So it doesn't need it. Sure, we'll have Bulu open the doors, I guess. Um, all right, and then we've got uh, some info conversations. We have Soth, we have Torneo, and we have Vika, or Vika, or Vika, or her. So we've got Soth. Her. Yep. <clears throat> We're just about ready. Let's go talk to Tormod and Micaiah. Micaiah, are you okay? Oh, oh, sorry. Hey, it's remember our... <laughs> no, that's fine. Remember our promise from three years ago? There are no secrets between us. I'm gonna restart the stream real quick. Mm -hmm. Brent says, uh, Vicaragua. Which I think <laughs> you said last time as well. <clears throat> uh, so... Yeah. Mm? Go. So... Worm knows that I'm older than I look. I see. Well, don't worry about it too much. You can trust him. Yes, I'm sure of that. Worm seems very trustworthy. But what about everyone else? What would they think if they knew all of my abilities came from the mixed blood running through my veins? Blood they considered curse. Micaiah, stop. Cursed. Right now, when they look at me, they have love and affection in their eyes. But would they look at me the same way if they knew?
I don't want to find out, so I don't think I could bear the truth. You know, we can stop. What do you mean? Look, this was an impossible situation to begin with. You've always led such a secluded life. Ever since you were thrust into this position, I worried the pressure might get to you. You're right. I knew it would turn out like this. Despite that, I accepted the job. I can't stop now. But Micaiah... Listen, so I realized something after Dane lost the war. What's that? I realized how much I loved my country. And? During the war, I spent a lot of time with the people of Dane while I was waiting for you to return. After we lost the war, all our cities and towns had been reduced to ruins. We had to help each other to cope. We supported and comforted each other. That's how we survived. You never mentioned this before. I've been secluded so long, I had no idea people were so strong and kind. No one knew who I was, but they helped me because I was from Dayan. They were so loving. They were my friends. And now you won't leave them. I was touched by their kindness. Now I'm scared to lose it. Very scared. Micaiah. I suppose this isn't the time to worry about such things. If my power is needed to liberate Dayan, I will stand my ground and fight. Well, not to spoil your resolve, but if things get too hot, I'm just gonna grab you and run. So... Friends in Dayan are important, but not as important as you are to me. Remember that. All right. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Next up, we have the tornado himself. Oof. Also, can I just say, um, I love the armor design in this game. Mm -hmm. Like, it's good in path, but whew, Radiant Dawn is the game that made me fall in love with like the big chunky armor. Sean, we got some tornado for you. I was muted. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> now, um, big puck of fuck off shoulder pads and my shit. Yep. Uh, speaking mm -hmm. of which, uh, torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Papa's lady, Makaya. Just this once, I agree with Lord Azuka's concerns. I completely understand. This is my fight and mine alone. Please keep the prince safe, General Tornado. I'll protect Micaiah. I'm enlisted extra help too. We'll make it back in one piece. Okay. 
I do like my armor chunky. The chunkier, the better. I place my trust in you, so blessed of luck. Oh, I nearly forgot you should take this. Here is a gun. Oh no, <laughs> that's wrong. What a peculiar staff. What power does it possess? Gun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a gun staff. It fires both pellets of lead and high velocities at your... At, no, I heal us people. Uh, it, helps, it helps people recover from poison, sleep paralysis, or sleep paralysis. <laughs> The enemies will use every method they possess to destroy you, and it's best that you be prepared for every eventuality. Thank you, General Tarnia. We will return safely. I know, and I know you'll save the hostages too. <sighs> we got a resource staff. No, Brad, sleep paralysis sucks. I don't take naps anymore because uh, that shit fucks me up. Mm. Mm, I wonder where the boss is. These tents all look the same. Hello, Vicka. Can I help you? Uh, um, maybe. <laughs> You always run away from me. Did I do something to offend you? No, I, I'm so sorry. I, I can't explain why this happens. I, I just get so jumpy around you. There's just something about you. Also, it's Vicaragua. Oh. oh. Oh, but please don't be sad. It's it's not you. It's it's me. I I get confused sometimes. I really admire you, and then and then I get a bizarre feeling, and and. I ship it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Sorry to bother you. Yes, I do know why this is happening. I don't remember. No, no, wait. Hmm? I want to overcome this. I, I, I don't like that I feel I must avoid you from for some unexplicable reason. I know how painful it is to be feared. I'm really, really sorry. Let's be friends, okay? If you can forgive me, that is. Of course I forgive you. Thank you, Vicaragua. I'd be honored <laughs> to have your friendship. Here, take this as a token of that friendship. Please take it. I I'd like you to have it. What a beautiful figurine. The goddess looks so serene. Um, carry it with you. It'll bring you good luck. Uh, I met my boss in Morum thanks to that figurine. Thank you, Vicaragua. I'll cherish it. <laughs> I forget every time. I'm glad you <laughs> like it. And we got Nashera icon. Uh, and we're gonna put that away. Uh, and I think that's about all we can really do. Are we running low on, like, staves or anything? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I think I do want another, um, uh, I think I do want another heal staff for... Oh, do you think you do? Laura. Laura! What? <laughs> this is an attempt at Morum. Put with Laura instead. Okay, that's good. I think everybody else is doing pretty good. Pretty okay. 
I'm so happy with the amount of items that they let you carry in this game. Brett's out here fucking keeping secrets, man. I do want another... Nope. I do want another... Nope. Can't buy hand axes. I can, however, buy great lances and pole axes. And blades. Oh, but pole axe in this game is not like a... We will get a knife for so, so we can attack at two range. And then, oh, we got some good options here. I think we'll buy a uh, maybe C for that and D for that. They're expensive though. Well, I think I'll still buy this and give it to Tormod just so he has a thunder option. L light. Uh, Makai is fine with Light and Fanny, pretty much. Alright, I think we're pretty much good here, um, based on our current funds. Unless we can, like, sell some stuff that we don't need. Although, I, I don't think we have anything that we really want to sell. I think we're pretty, we're pretty good on stuff. Alright, well then, let's get started. Let's, uh, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Liam's on the road. Oh boy, who wants to voice this toad? Oh, Radman. Uh, Corey, you have a voice for Radman? Huh. <laughs> Not that one. He's just we're Animal Crossing. Good. <laughs> right. Yeah, have a little swim. A bonk. A bonk. A bonk. A bonk. Beep. Ah uh, no! 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 Someone! That guy just stood there and took two attacks. He's fucking dead. You're that bleeding heart filth. We are the Day and Liberation Army. Everyone hold tight. You'll be safe soon. Look at her hair. Could it be the silver-haired maiden, our country savior, come to rescue us? Save Okay, take my character then. Sorry. I just wanted to do the thing again. <laughs> Here, you go ahead. Liam's a bitch. <laughs> See, it's fun. <laughs> Great. Amazing. Both of you. <sighs> what, you don't like it? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Fuck off, Elkins. Fucker. <laughs> Psst, it's a Mikaya so, line. <laughs> so, it's a trap after all. Don't get too smug, you cruel cowards. We have a little something up our sleeves, too. Tormod, here's your chance. Ugranch. Launch. I guess I guess it's just gonna play the game for us now. Yeah, I guess so. Lady Nyla, the Luke. We are Look here. At my queen. 
S subhumans, they're everywhere. How? Raphael, even you came to help. just now what was that strange song that was bigger a heron galder that can re-energize our allies in a fight don't be distracted micaiah let's set our let's set our formation while we can remember the hair clan yeah i know how to use the galder okay choose uh -huh. units okay these are guys are all force deployed we're taking iliana edward zihark laura oh wait actually nolan Edward, Laura, and then we can, I'm thinking probably either, because we can't, we can't put out any of the people who are, like, technically day and soldiers, because mm -hmm. they had to stay behind. Um, now, it's down to um, Zihark or Ileana at this point. What do you guys think? Hmm. Fred says, I can tell you right now that all of those <laughs> hostages are going to die in my hard mode run. Yep. Listen, this game is hard on easy mode. What was the question that you would ask Liam? I apologize. Um, we have room for one more. Uh, Zihark or Ileana? I like... Mm, mm, or should I say Zborg? Zborg or Ileana. Um, do we need mm. more sword stuff or more magic? Which would be more useful? Probably sword, right? You think so? I think so. Based yeah. on some... I mean, we have a lot of melee stuff. Where I assume we're, we have Tormod out, and we're using Nakaya. I mean, do we want another mage? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But the other the other part of that is that Ileana is also, like, further behind than Zihark is. He doesn't need the... He's, like, already a pre-promote in this game. Alright, so Ileana, then. He's having a pretty good day, though. Zihark's on the up and up. Having a pretty good day. Oh, he's on best too. Fuck. Yeah. Ileana's pretty bad. She's hungry. She's really hungry. All right, we'll take yeah. Ileana for now, and then we'll reposition. Oh yeah, everyone else is like forced to play, so there's only like four. All right. Um, put Nolan there, and you there, and you. Actually. You there, and then you. Yeah, that's fine. There's not music, Sean. All right, now let's actually get started. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. No, I know how rescue works. All right. Tormod is going to. Fire this guy. Yep. Tormod's cape is getting all mucky. Oh. I wonder if you're a fire mage, can you like dry things off really easy? I guess that's just prestidigitation, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a good level. A good level. Heat doesn't necessarily mean dry quickly. It depends on amount of heat. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Because dry true. can quickly become burn. Can can Vika not rescue these guys? Oh, she has to probably transform first, huh? All right. Um. So th well. What I'll do is I'll put Nolan over here. And just one-shot this guy, I guess. Whoosh! That's pretty good. Also, I like that the mages in this game... I can't remember if they were like that in Path, but I like that the mages in this game are, um, like, distinguishable 
based on their uh, like clothing, so you can tell what kind of mage they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. What's your where are your stats? Oh, there three. Ugh. So you'll take a lot of damage from them. Um. What does Micaiah do to this guy? Not quite? Okay. Then here's what we'll do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I think that's what we're gonna do! Just to get some chip damage on you with the iron knife. Cool. And then uh, we'll have Micaiah come over here. No, actually, not Micaiah, because Micaiah's already promoted. I don't know what I'm doing. Not promoted, but she's level 20 and she won't class up. Yeah. <clears throat> the mages are pretty distinguishable in Path of Radiance? Okay. I don't remember- Oh, Cool magic circles with critical hits! That's something that I do very much like about this game. I think Bread had mentioned something about that uh, as well. Um, that the, uh, the crit animations are very cool. Um, oh, actually, Edward can go over and take this guy out. Sweet. He can't, actually. But, that's fine. But he's he has enough, um, unless he crits, but he has enough, uh, like, to be able to take a hit from that guy anyway. Cool. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And then, uh, Nikaya will... I guess, chill. You guys are gonna be buddies. And then uh, we can move the uh, these guys. No, I know how these guys work. Uh, Nyla has... What's that skill called? Oh my gosh, she has so many skills. Glare, Guard, Form Shift, Shove, and Savage. Form Shift being that uh, she can be transformed all the time. And also her... Jeez! I love her! Look at her! Look at her! Ah! Nyla is, uh, literally invincible. She's literally uh. a beast! Um, well, I hope that we learn, uh, anything about her at some point, because right now it's like, huh, displaced wolf queen. Weird, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I have so- I'm so ambivalent. I'm just like, I don't- mm -hmm. You sure- you sure are also here. <laughs> Although, that's what I've heard is the vibe of most of the people in this game, to be honest. I mean, you know. I... Okay. Yes, so, Corey? <laughs> Someone joined um, one of the servers I'm a part of on Discord, whose name is The Fool in the Clown Car. <laughs> and within two minutes they left the server and so someone says he got stuck in the car what his, his name is the fool in the clown car uh huh he couldn't get out so the door got stuck
Oh, Nyla can talk to Micaiah. Look at that. <laughs> so Cor Cory gets to talk to herself. Got it. Yes. <clears throat> Queen Nyla, are you sure it's all right involving not only you, but Raphael as well? Raphael can't fly, so sometimes he has trouble keeping up. But even so, the effects of his Galdar make him a valuable asset in battle. All I ask is that you keep him near me so I can keep him safe. I understand. I will. Does not see Raphael anywhere near Nyla. <laughs> I will. He's on the other side of the map. Uh, oh, oh fuck! No this way. She came all the way over here just to talk to, uh, just to talk to Micaiah, and it's like, oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. I fucked up. Um, I was really hoping like ten more people with cloud names would enter the chat. <laughs> <laughs> clown, oh, like, such as it. clown in a car, clown with a mask, <laughs> clown in orange armor, carrying a spear. No. <sighs> no, the damn is done. He's clown. done. He's gone. Goodbye. Clown who fancies himself the leader of an army and the rightful heir to the throne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to deal with that Draco Knight at some point or another. He fucking sucks! <laughs> Bread's like, I got that reference. Gosh. Wolf crits are terrifying. Wolf. Wolfie. Well, I'm glad he's thunder and not uh, fire. Although you missed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Do another crit. Do another crit. Oh. Good luck with your 15% chance to hit Edward. Uh. Farewell, foolish brigand. You have, been, crit. you have been cleft in twain. Holy crit. <laughs> More dudes, all right. Yep, Nolan can still one-shot this guy. Man, y'all, I've reached the point of the day where we've hit pudding brain. That's alright. Are you still doing work? Yes. You said you weren't going to stay extra today. Yeah, I know. But this is, like, important shit that they'll breathe down my neck about. Mm. Some shit I can leave on, keep on the back burner, and some shit I cannot. And this is one of those cannot. Fine. Because I kind of stopped working, like, a half an hour ago, and then I said, oh, fuck, I still would do this garbage fine. Mm -hmm. Listen, John Verizon can suck these fat nuts, but, like, also, I would like to continue to be employed. Yeah. I get it. Tormod has like 12 defense, which is really good. These guys have 19 attack. Tormod is not afraid of these guys. Not even a little bit. No. Not even a little bit. Just walking bags of experience points. <laughs> I 
And it's cool because we didn't really have a fire mage last time. Like, Soren was wind and Ileana was uh, thunder, but um, Khalil, who is, I guess, the default fire mage, kind of didn't really. We also get her, like, ridiculously late in the game. That's also mm -hmm. true. Pick up, please transform so I can do things. Oh, also, Soth can't do that. Alright. Uh, Nyla, you're gonna go over here and drop this guy there, so you can continue to rescue people. Uh, you're gonna go there. We're in the weeds! We're in the weeds! Weeds! Ah! Yeah, shove. Bump. Cool. Oh yeah, I also wanted to keep that in mind. Uh, oh great. Oh great! Oh, heck. So I will say a funny work-related thing as I'm continuing to do so. Uh -huh. um, there is a wire center on Long Island called oh, Shoreham. Uh -huh. And I just I just hear Corey. <laughs> Shoreham! I just, I just Shoreham! hear... I just hear Corey and it's... <laughs> fucking sucks. You're welcome. Yeah, no worries, dog. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, he actually survived. Look at that. A resilient fool, but a dead fool nonetheless. Well, we lost a boy. That's fine. Wait, it's not re it's not in view. I had that mixed up. He restores for uh, like 10% of his hit points a turn, not not his magic. Either way, that's mm. fine. This guy gets all over there. <sighs> Rescue that guy. Can you at least shove him? Thank you. It's not quite, it's not quite enough, but it's something. And I think Vicky will be fine. She can take a hit from this guy. Um... Torma is going to go up here and continue his reign of, uh, uh, of Hellfire. Cool. Simple enough. Uh, Nolan is going to brutalize this man. Cool. Cool and good. And then we're going to have Raphael uh, assist with the um, with the brutalization. I think we get like a certain number of bonus experience for each of these guys that we save. Which is good. Good. HP skill defense. All right, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Hand axe broke, but that's also fine. Uh, who else do we need to move still? Warm, you need to punch that guy out of the way. And then we got to move this squad. <laughs> figured he might go for him. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> hey, do this map uh, where you got a bunch of, um, got a bunch of dudes stuck in the swamp and your people end up with like one movement. Oh, also here's a wyvern rider. <laughs> Can we not? Also, you can't use your own. Haha. <laughs> yeah, also Jill can't come. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so these guys do it. He gets there. 
he can get there. He can attack there. He gets there. But I don't think he moves. So here's what I think we'll do. We gave Edward the pure water for a reason. We're going to use it. Oh, that's a cool little animation. I've never actually used one of those before. Uh, and then we're gonna put Ileana over here. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Do the Scottish accent as well as Liam, but it's fine. Get out of there, dude. Get out of there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Put Vicka over there. Uh, Vicka Volt. And uh, we will once again. Vicaragua. that guy. Vicaragua. I'm uh, once again asking for your support. I am no longer asking. We'll get there. We'll get it. Who didn't I move? Oh, Micaiah. Okay. Micaiah and uh, Laura. Man, terrain cost is very annoying. I cannot move. Sweet. Good job, Edward. Very good job, Edward. Man, this guy's turned out to be real good. I had a feeling you were going to do that. Punch him, Vicka. Miss? Go punch. Go punch. Wow. Punch. Oh, she kicks him. <laughs> That's so funny. I love the like staff counterattacks and the Lagoose counterattacks. They're very good. Mm -hmm. Nice one, Edward. And you set up uh, Ileana to get a kill as well. HP, strength, skill, speed, luck. Very, very strong. And we got sword level, and that guy's still there. Uh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Tormod uh, has reached an equilibrium. We're gonna do this. Yeah, that's right. That's right, get out of here. Reese actually killed a guy with a staff for me once. The guy had three HP left, and Reese crit. <laughs> that's funny. That's very funny. This guy's been slogging through the swamp just to have some kid run up on him and uh, dunk him with fire. Oh, he actually dodged that one with an 83. That's pretty good. Um, but now I'm really not worried about any of that anymore. Uh, where do you get? There? Okay. Victory's route, enemy. We're just gonna iron sword you. Nothing fancy. Just a bonk. Paper crinkle you can hear. Currently, no paper crinkle. Hmm. Still nothing? Still nothing. Oh, no one doesn't have yeah. his hand axe anymore. Noise depression is amazing. We have technology. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing until you have a voice line, and then it sucks. <laughs> it's 
especially when that voice line is a voice that uh, it decides it wants to suppress. Yep. Yes. But honestly, like it, probably, it probably has pretty good judgment in that regard. <laughs> I mean, would you rather hear just straight up Toad, or would you rather hear Toad but push through a can repeatedly? Oh my gosh. Yes. Some, some voices thinks the world would be better off not hearing. It can be wrong. And but. crisper fucking noise voice noise suppression or whatever the fuck is the arbiter of that apparently. I guess. <laughs> fucking great. See, even Brad agrees. Yes. slowly catch up. This guy's going to get uh, munched by uh, Tormod here. Who's getting real tired of being poisoned. Yeah, but... Nice! Really good level. Man, Tormod's cool. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It was just like either last night or the night before. I was like, man, I can't stop thinking about Tormod. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weird because previously to playing this, like with you guys, I never thought about Tormod. I've never used uh -huh. him. He always showed up in that chapter and I was like, all right, bye kid. <laughs> yeah, but now we know more about him. Yeah. More. We more know more about him. About him. <laughs> more. Yeah. Mom! Hey, LG! LG hey. says, I love Tormod as a character. He is so good. Like... He's a good kid. Playing through Radiant Dawn the first time, I'm like, eh, cool. This dude. Um, comes with two animal people. Um... And then, uh, playing through Path, I was like, oh, this kid's cool. He uh, comes with one animal person. <laughs> he comes with one animal people. <laughs> um, and now I'm just like, yeah, Morm's great. <laughs> or not Morm, Tormod. I mean, Morm's also great. Morm's also great, I agree. Also, Liam, only because we were talking about it earlier, and I would like to verbalize that I am uh, actually following through on that question I'm absolutely requesting off for next Friday. Good. Because I'm I gonna think you should. die I'm gonna die soon. Um, I think you should. You should. Uh, not 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 not, not die. Not you should not die, die. But you should no. get you off. Should yeah, you should I mean it depends depends on the day, really. <laughs> Listen, I've wanted to throw myself into the sun since roughly last Friday, so I would like to not walk that anymore. <sighs> Uh oh. More people. More wyvern dudes just out of nowhere. Woo! Uh, so actually, let's take it a little easy. Tormod's gonna go over here. And Laura. Can't heal him, but it gets close. LG, how are you today? I didn't acknowledge previously. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fucking sneezing again. What Pardon. A bitch. Pardon me. No. Please. No. No. I will not. Please. I will not. It is Never. all I have. Oh, okay. Uh, these guys are eventually going to have to be dealt with. I am excitement. Shot. <laughs> Shot Pikachu face. <gasps> um. Um. 
Anyway, the reason I am excitement is because <laughs> I am currently cutting out pattern pieces so that I may make my Evinxia address. Woohoo! Oh yeah, you have a hand axe, don't you? So you're just gonna, you're just gonna pretend that you can hit Soth. <laughs> I'm going to pretend. You have such an imagination, Wyvern Rider. Dude with a knife just murks a man on a dragon. Stormat is just poison until the end of time. My boy. Till the I'll end of time. Fix that. <laughs> Cory is not a merciful god. It's fine. Wait a minute. I still have the scars. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I want to give a reason why I'm requesting time off, like a note for it. Um, because your brain is going to explode. Just type out, type in the note because section. I'm going, working. I'm going to fucking scream. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> there we go. Just get these guys out of here. Get them out of here, Nolan. Show them the door. If you want, if you want a serious answer, I would say um, to make up for overtime worked. If this week or something. I mean, I haven't super stayed this week. I'm just hyper stressed and I feel like I'm going to explode and I have a four day weekend because I have Labor Day off anyway. Mm. So it's like, all right, well, why wouldn't I do that? I would imagine a lot of people are probably going to take the fourth of uh, fucking September off for that same reason. Just because it's Labor Day? Yeah, probably. Just because people are going to want four day weekend. What? Yeah, that's true. Free mm. day off you pay for anyway? Yeah, fair enough. But um... Liana leveled strength. Interesting. Yeah, she needs it to punch her book at people. <laughs> yep, that's how magic works. Uh, ex extension of weekend for mental health. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good way to put it. No, I don't have to. The note is optional. I don't have to. And if she has a question about it and doesn't approve it, she'll reach out to me about it. Or if she denies it, I'll see it and can be like, hey, why? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm asking you a week in advance, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Man, this boy has no fear. Jump into the air and cut up a dragon with your sword. Ha! <laughs> Edward is good. Edward is a good boy. He is. <laughs> and then that's gonna be handed over to this. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna wait to get the confirmation email that that went through, and then I'm gonna. Who else needs to move? Volug? Oh, it's always Volug. You always forget about Volug. Well, no, it's always the, the characters who have, like, um, like, neutral colored models. Like, if they're really, like, gray or brown. Um, uh, like, Soren I always miss, and, uh, Nyla I always miss, and Volug I always miss, because it looks like they've, they're done. Mmm. Man, all these Xaxes kills on Nolan is extremely satisfying. I have exactly enough damage to kill you in one hit. I always miss Aaron. Yeah, Aaron, I always forget about as well. But he's not here, because unfortunately we're not really using Aaron. Mm -hmm. Uh, your following request has been submitted. Time off, fixed. 9 4, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. 4 p.m. because I'm not taking a lunch because why would I take a lunch when I'm 
for yeah. her. I don't get paid for that anyway. What? Okay. <laughs> now let me just. May I just? Uh, may I just uh, 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 comment about Raphael's um, stats here? Strength is one. Magic is seven. Skill is one. Speed is six. Luck thirty-two. Defense four. Res thirteen. <laughs> Very well-rounded stats, truthfully. Yeah, just Very. not not min-maxed at all. Very. No. Uh, the goddess, no, 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 no. The goddess, there's, there's, the goddess who blessed him has, has spread that love. Does not favor one, uh, <laughs> one stat over the other. No. No, no. I'm ridiculous. That's my thing. Everything about this person. I want to hear Corey doing me, doing Liam, doing Duke Tennis. Oh gosh. No. All right. The answer is no. <laughs> Corey, Corey, I just need you to gain like 500 more pounds and just be like extremely <laughs> luxuriant. Oh no! Brent says that's a high luck stat for someone whose entire family died. I Jesus. <laughs> I mean, some would. I'm not gonna say that. Sean, you need to stop. Not gonna, not gonna say that. You need to not. You're gonna say? I'm gonna not. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Uh-huh. Really? Nobody? All right. Uh, what are we doing? What are we? What actually is Raphael doing? Blessing, HP. Oh. Oh, cool. It's the heal. Cool. Uh, you can get there. Is that thunder? Is yeah, it I just heard thundering well. out there. Oh boy! I was gonna go do yard work, but I guess that's not gonna fucking happen now. Mm. Yeah, I'm supposed to rain all day tomorrow too. For AC. see, uh, yard work. Uh, no know. yard work. Does that mean uh, extra chapter? Probably not. Okay, that's fine. Mm. It will depend. I will go check. That's a big flash of lightning. Now you know what? I should go do it just to spite my mom for being like shitty and mean about it. Mm. She's like, no, nah, you want me to do this? Let me go do it in the thunderstorm. Uh huh. Hmm. What can we get done here? It's pretty good. Also good. Are you guys doing okay with the, the scary weather? Uh, yeah. I mean, this is. The weather's been a fine today. Uh, th that thunder that I just uh, uh, mentioned is the first time I've like really be been aware of like crummy weather today. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I don't think any of us die like right away to all that. We're gonna have our mages handle that, and then we're gonna have uh, Micaiah. Uh, who can shove Micaiah? Anyone. Anyone can. Who can shove Micaiah again? Funk, just so she can heal Noel and get some XP. Well, I guess. I guess, uh. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't know if it was worse where you are since it's on the coast. Uh, it's not that bad right now. At least where Sean and I are at. Oh, oh, my, uh, my lights are flickering, actually. Oh, boy. Actually, my lights just flickered. So uh, if I just disappear all of a sudden, uh, that's why. We got a line for you, Corey. Cool. Oh, 
Yep. <laughs> He's a That's thunder my favorite bitch. character. <laughs> Radvin? Radvin, favorite character, all the fire emblem. Oh gosh. It's a real cool outfit, though. Yeah. Cool. He's going to be eternally uh, torn to pieces and then healed, and then torn to pieces and then healed. Uh, actually, what we're probably going to do is this. Oh no. Oh, Sean's gonna attack. Oh dear, Sean is a, uh, a real ro real robot. We had a tornado fry Justin's computer during a stream a few months ago, plus my animal room's upstairs, and I had to run a ton of terrified animals to the basement. The scariest time of my life in many years. Oh boy, yeah, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that does sound pretty scary. <laughs> That's just a real high stress situation. Mm -hmm. That'll do. And then this'll put an end to all of the shenanigans. Cool. Uh, are we still missing, uh, Sean? Yes. Okay. We're nearly back to camp. I wonder if the prince will ever look the fact that I insisted on this mission. I'm sure he'll be happy when he sees the prisoners are safe. So, do you hear a noise coming from the canyon? Is it people shouting? Look! Look up there! The maiden has returned! And the prisoners are with her! She won another victory! She escaped the trap and destroyed the enemy! Again! Radiant with divine protection, she truly has the goddess's blessing! The silver-haired maiden, our priestess! Priestess of Dawn, hooray, Lady Micaiah. Yeah, no, so if I flick out of existence again, it's because my uh, power and or Wi-Fi went out, so... That's all right. Fair warning! I think all you missed was us toasting the boss, and then uh, and then people are cheering for us now that we've returned with the prisoners. Yeah, we're real cool. It's fine. Yeah. What could they be celebrating? You, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what Nihilus is. It seems the soldiers are celebrating the liberation of the prisoners. You should wave to them. People like their heroes to seem approachable. It would make like them happy. The weird garbage half-wave kind of thing? <laughs> I'm no hero, but I see what you mean. Hi! Hey guys! Oh. What a glorious sight she is!
Lady Vakaya! Lady Vakaya, the priestess of John! I can hear that rumbling. Bread says, plus the power went out, so I'm running a marathon up and down two stairwells with armloads of animals in the dark. Yikes. I imagine the queen's wave, <laughs> yeah. Here you are. I've been looking for you. After all these those soldiers cheering, I feel like I'm doing real good here. Micaiah? Sorry, I can turn on the noise version of that. No, 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 fix it's it. fine. It's all good. It's, like it's, it. it's thematic. Wow, sure. Oh, grow. Grow. Barum, get a hold of yourself. Look at me. Uh, tool one. Is he like poisoned? This happens over and over. Worm suddenly transforms and he growls like he's losing his mind. And if I and if I grab him and yell his name again and again. He returns to himself, but then it just starts over. And, and when he's growling, his eyes, they look, it's as if, it's as if one of them is looking at me. I do remember Izuka from Path of Radiance. Uh, I'm horrified that you're asking me this. Them? One of them? One of who? You can't mean. No! Help him, please! I don't know what to do! The time between transformations is getting shorter and shorter. Ugh! My body can't. No. No, no, little one, get away. No, I won't let you go. I'll, I'll die before I let you go, Feral. Lorem, look at me. song Raphael
The Galder of rebirth restores twisted bodies and souls to their proper states. He will be all right now. Thank you. Without more, life would be terrible. Well, gee, I don't like the connotation and the things that you're suggesting here. What was that song? It was different than the one he sang before. It was the Galder of Rebirth. I heard it once before in the war, but... Micaiah, what's wrong? I feel... odd. Maybe it was the song. I'm... Shaking for some reason. But I'm truly glad that Morum will be alright. In the Mad King's War, Dane's military developed living weapons. They were called feral ones, lagoos that had been warped and twisted by terrible experiments. Terrible, you say? Do you mean to refute the highly effective results of my brilliant research? Pelias, shut up! You secretly gave Morum the drug to turn him into a feral one. And what's wrong with that? Maintaining constant battle strength in beast state. How splendid! Tormod is actually just gonna straight up kill him. <laughs> How dare you! Transforming Lagoos into feral ones dramatically shortens their lifespan. Pelias stops breathing. It destroys their sense of self, and they do nothing but fight until they die. And you, you get more on that drug. Pawns no need, need no sense of self. It's only natural to sacrifice soldiers for victory in war. I'm going to fucking kill him. You twisted... Maniac, you are at the lowest. Everybody, wait, please. What now? Izuka clearly did a terrible thing to that sub that Lagoos. I apologize. I said sorry, so everything's better now, right? Torbot, I'm truly sorry. He will not use the drug again, so please try to forgive him. <laughs> prince Pelias. My prince, we must not have royalty bowing and scraping before swine like. That's enough! Tormod. Let him go. Oh. She had the Midyard Capital. I see. Is that true? She's still only 13, but still. Yo, what is it about Benyon and fucking weak sauce chins? I can't. <laughs> I hate so much. Who who was uh who was Lacane in the last game? He had like two lines in that game. 
I have no idea, and it was throwaway if it was. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's probably me who takes him here, because y'all already have somebody on screen. Uh -huh. I do yeah. not know what to do for this man. Um... I don't... What should I say about Lacane? Oh, I hate him. Um... And again, I can say that I, about literally all of the senators. So... How much stank? All right, all right. Scale of one to ten. How much stank? He like among 20. among the greatest in the game. <laughs> among among the greatest of the stank. Maximum stank. Yep. Maximum stank. Like Out of like 10? twenty. Like honestly, probably the worst senator. What? Yeah. Worse than Tannis? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I have to pick a real stinky voice. Okay. Uh -huh. He um, real. <laughs> God. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Uh, maybe, maybe he's Porky Pig. Like all senators <laughs> bad, but like Abedi, Lacane really Abedi, bad. Abedi, 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 I can't do a good Porky Pig. <laughs> do I Kermit Lacane? Oh gosh. I don't think Olki's gonna carry. I'm gonna Kermit him. Yes, Apostle. Oh no. Yeah, Sean, Sean. Ideal. I, I realize what I'm choosing. I, I, are you prepared to hate Kermit the Frog? Absolutely. Okay. Our <laughs> occupation forces have engaged in appalling and inhumane excesses in Dane. I'm always prepared to hate Kermit. Are you kidding me? Fair enough. <laughs> These excesses were perpetrated entirely outside the knowledge of the occupational governor, Duke Numenuma. Numa 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 I come to you pen penitent, failing my duties as governor. I. No me <laughs> Share a measure of guilt for this disaster. This voice makes me very dizzy. <laughs> I find it fitting that Lacane is a piece of garbage because Lacane also kinda looks like my dad. So it's like this is fun. <laughs> this oh is, my this gosh. Is good. good. I am prepared to take the appropriate punishment, Apostle Sonaki. So he's essentially throwing uh, General Jared under the bus, saying, didn't know any of that was happening. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> garbage However, man I feel that freeing the people of Dayan from the clutches of our oppression is our most urgent task I should drop Cymbeline on the both of you right now urgent you say then we must make haste <laughs> We will forthwith convene an inspection team and request a meeting with the army led by the late King Ashnard's orphan. We will assure them of Benyon's intentions. Then we will immediately address the occupation force's tyranny. Thank you for the help. Excellent. In that case, please deign to allow me, your humble servant, Lacane, to lead the inspection team. Oh, this sucks. These two fucking chowder-headed pieces of shit. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Great. Good. I mean, this is like, this is like, these guys are the epitome of why Ike hates, like, the idea of nobility. The soldiers who have stained the Empire's name will be toppled where they stand. I promise they shall not live to return here. That is unacceptable. I will decide the soldiers' punishment only after hearing their side. And I have chosen to appoint Sephiran, Duke Persis, to lead the investigation team. Sephiran! Sephiran! 
Is that acceptable, Sephiran? Oh, oh no, I gave Nyla his voice. <laughs> yeah, you did. Pick a new one, pick it's a new fine. one. No, I'll just continue. Hers is more like. Breathy? Powerful. Oh, his, his is more breathier. like serene. Right. And quiet. I hear and obey my empress. What? But, but, a passing sanity. This is a dire situation. Accordingly, I will judge the Prime Minister, Duke Persis, uh, to be more suited of the role than you, Vice Minister Lacan. That is all. Hug. Oh, Lacan. What shall I do? <clears throat> Duke Numa Numa, my dear friend, I'm afraid you must sacrifice every last Benyon in the Imperial Occupation Army. Fucking kill him. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But... Uh, you fucking heard me. Put him in a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the most powerful spell of all. Are you ready yes, to meet God? That spoiled brat. And our cunning little schemes. You'll regret this, Apostle Sanamki. Corey has made it sound like this man is struggling to speak. Yes. And I think that's somewhat appropriate. It just <laughs> hurts him. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah. to give a little bit of recap of just how scummy everything that's going on, um, uh, General Jared and Duke Numida, who are overseeing the occupation of Dayan, uh, started um to lose to the Dawn Brigade and all that. Um, and uh, to cover it up, uh, basically, they plotted where it was just like, oh, let's ask Lacane, who is also gross, to lie for us and say that we didn't know anything about this. So somebody gets punished, but it's not us. And then Numita goes back to Benyon and then doesn't include Jared, throws him right under the bus, and then as soon as he doesn't get his way, then Lacane's just kind of like, Guess everyone in your army has to die then, so we don't have any loose ends. <laughs> yeah. Great. Meanwhile, Sonic, he's over here like, no, there's exactly one senator that I can trust, and I'm sending him. Y'all can pike off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Sephiroth. Sephiroth! Uh, so if, uh, to, to the surprise of actually nobody, no, I'm not mowing my lawn today, and you said nine was short. If you want to keep going, we can. Yeah, chapter nine is very short. Okay, it is. It is pouring Yay. rain now. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, yes, Leonardo did die. Um, I didn't yeah. go back for him. I wasn't planning on using him anyway. And uh, Micaiah and yeah. her small band of fighters knowingly walk into a trap to save condemned day in prisoners, even without the benefit of Izuka's vast information network. News of Micaiah's heroism in Shifu Swamp spreads like wildfire across Dayan. The once hopeless citizens of Dayan dub her the Priestess of Dawn and find their spirits restored. In their troubled hearts, they see in her nothing less than the promise of salvation. Throughout Dayan, the people rise as one against the brutality of their oppressors. Benyon's occupying forces cannot deal with open war on so many fronts. General Jared redeploys his men to key locations to better defend the capital city. Jared's forces still outnumber those of the Dayan Liberators, and he has hardened his defenses in hopes of holding off Micaiah's army. The Liberation forces fight with a fury not to be denied, however. 
and the occupation army begins to lose its will to fight. Breaking through enemy lines again and again, Micaiah's forces gain vital ground and momentum. Despite the anger Micaiah feels toward Izuka for his treatment of their Lagu's allies, she continues to lead the army in its lightning-quick advance. Nivasa is now mere days away. And this chapter is called One Survives. We're going to have to choose a unit and everyone else dies. Yep. Great. Bring back the guillotine, Duma Numa. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen and be amazed. Big news afoot. The Apostle is sending an inspection team to investigate the Occupation Army's abuses. Ow. My legs. Really? She sent me a message that preparations are finally complete. But wait, it gets better. She also issued an imperial edict to the occupation forces telling them to cease all military action immediately. Does that mean the fighting is over? That we've won? Indeed. It's hard to believe it's over. It almost seems too easy. The guillotine is hungry for politicians. Oh Ooh. gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you, friend. <clears throat> and best of all, Duke Persis is leading the inve inspection team. We'll be home free for the moment they arrive. Our worries are over. Duke Persis? Lord Seferan? So, Apostle Sonaki is dispatching one of the Empire's greatest men to handle this. What kind of man is he? <laughs> He's amazing! The best person ever! <laughs> He's incredibly influential oh. and high up. But he never stood on ceremony with us. Several. What? Well, go on, you guys. Don't just stand there. We have to spread the news. We have to spread the news? Aren't you going with us? Um, nah. It's mostly you're doing. We'll hold back. Let you take the glory. It's Izuka, isn't it? You don't want to come because he'll be with the prince. Basically. Tormund's like, not even gonna lie, that's exactly right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, there we go. Alright, but wait here. We'll come right back once we've announced the good news. Day and keep. <clears throat> Who wants to be, um, random Benyon schmuck? In light of which, Imperial Highness Empress Saraki has conveyed to you this edict. You just, you just couldn't help yourself. You just needed a little Soren in your life. 
I just <laughs> a little bit of sorbet in my life. <laughs> Patient forces are to hereby lay down all arms, convene in day and keep, and await the inspection team. <laughs> Brent says, going to the store, reception might be spotty. Understood. We all need a little bit of Soren and Oh my gosh, and Edelgy and Brett said the same thing. <laughs> same, same brain cell. Brettelgy. <laughs> Brettelgy. It's a fucking fusion dance. <laughs> Duke Numenuma maintained that your forces performed alleged abuses independently in flagrant violation of his orders. The Apostle, in her mercy, will hear your testimony. Do not abuse her magnanimous spirit and lose your small advantage. Ha! What a magnificently ruthless maneuver! I didn't know mute. I didn't know Numa Numa had it in him, disowning the entire occupation army and framing me for their actions. Brilliant. I've already forgotten this man's voice. So then, the game is over. Might we at least drag Duke Numa Numa down with us? Not a chance. We are proof that Duke Numa Numa, and therefore the entire Senate, is corrupt. No doubt they'll work together to silence us. Besides, there's more tantalizing prey than those tottering relics. If I'm to fall, so too should the one who upended our plans and drove us to this dead end. That girl. Justin and I are in agreement, Brad. <laughs> oh, I like that. Our final mission. You create a diversion with the troops tonight after dark, and I will seek our target, the girl's silver-maned head. Gee, okay. Liberation camp. Ahem! <laughs> Silence! Prince Peleus would now like to favor you with a word. You may begin, my prince. Am I dreaming? Everything looks so delicious. <laughs> what should I eat first? Peleus just steps up to the microphone and like... <laughs> does that for like 30 seconds. Everybody, you've done a fine job. Once the inspection team arrives, day will be free once again. In anticipation of our, our emancipation, I Izuka, did I say that right? Shut up, Peleus. Continue talking. <laughs> Read the I, script I wrote for you. I. I well, or Izuka, I can't do both things. <laughs> Peleus. I invite you to eat drink to your heart's content. <sighs> it's just a butter knife. Just a stupid butter knife in the dumb old man's face. Yep. <laughs> uh, we've got, uh... <laughs> Shut up! Keep talking! Shut up, Peleus! Who is it? Who is it? Keep talking! <laughs> oh, hi, I see. Micaiah's alone. Uh huh. She's just Hello. chilling. Shine is good. Um. Master Seal is great, but I don't have. What? enough money! Not even close. Um, Wind Edge, Woo. Javelin, Hand Axe. Uh, I, I kinda want. Honestly, I'll take a Hand Axe and a Javelin. Uh, no, just put it in the... Put it in the storage. Yeah. And then, uh, also put the javelin in storage. I think that's about all we really need right now. XP. Yeah. Skills. Support. Info. Uh, we got Peleus and Jill. Let's do, uh, Peleus first. 
Chris, Chris says, I think the voice for Peleus makes me hate him more by 25%. Good. Oh, 25? I have to crank it up. No! So, how unusual to see you alone. Prince Peleus, you here to see Micaiah? From the window. Yes, at least I intended to, but she's quite popular, isn't she? Note to self, uh, coat the windows with raid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she's always so busy talking to everyone that I can never get near her. That's by design! <laughs> They're your soldiers. Good. They're your soldiers. Tell them to get out of the way. No, I can't do that. My job is to be the symbol of Dane's liberation. Liberation. But the Priestess of Dawn is no mere symbol. For her, the soldiers will gladly give their lives. Prince Peleus? Oh, don't worry, Soth. I'm not jealous, if that's what you're thinking. Not of her, anyway. Uh. It is like that. Although I have to admit, I do envy her from time to time. Not to self. Uh, coat the windows with arsenic. <laughs> hmm. I almost forgot. Here. These war funds are for you. But the war's over. And besides, this is a small fortune. <sighs> yes, well, share it with the troops if you like. <sighs> I may not be much of a leader, but I truly appreciate the sacrifices that everyone has made. They deserve something in return. <laughs> Divide it up as you see fit. I trust your judgment. <laughs> Prince Peleus, you should be the one to give the troops their reward. And we got enough to buy a Master Crown. Or a Master Seal. Master Crown. Um, I just imagine bread, unfortunately, in like ShopRite or whatever just stuck with me doing that in her ears. <laughs> you, you can't even yell about it. I have no fingers and I must scream. Yeah. Poor thing. Yeah, for Do real. Do we want to buy the Master Seal? I mean, like, it's good, but I also don't mind, like, just promoting people through levels. No, nah, I want it. I'm gonna want it later. I'm gonna want it later. And then we have one with Jill. Oh, they're both Corey. Do you want to do you want to do double voices or do you want to hand off? Um, I mean, I don't mind doing double voices, but if someone wants to take Jill, they can. Sean, do you want to take Jill? No. Okay then. I'll take Jill. Okay. Lady Micaiah. Pity me, Brunson. <laughs> Hello, Jill. What are you doing here? I saw you walking over here as I was heading back to my tent. Is something wrong? You shouldn't be leaving camp by yourself. I'm just exhausted from talking to so many people, but there's no need for concern. I just need some time to myself. Now that you mention it, you do look a little pale. Why not rest in your tent? It'd be much more comfortable. I don't want so than the others to know how tired I am. They worry too much. Uh, I can see that. 
The Soth seems so detached from everything unless it involves you. He gets so worked up. He strikes me as a bit overprotective. We've always lived by ourselves, just the two of us. I don't think he can help it. Then I shall bring you some medicine, and I'll make sure no one sees me. I'll meet you at your tent. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. Do you see that tree? I'll be resting over there. I should recover in no time. But... I'll be safe. We're still in camp. Besides, don't you have an errand of your own to take care of? It must be really important to leave the feast so early in the evening. Oh, no, not really. I just thought I'd write a letter to a friend. That's all. the man you told me about? The one you run a wyvern delivery service with? Well, um, yes. <laughs> you know everything, don't you, Lady Micaiah? <laughs> You're going to tell him that the fighting is over, right? Yes. More than anything, he despises trouble. He made a delivery to Benyon and never returned. I'm sure it's the war that's kept him away. Really? Well, indirectly at least. To be honest, it's probably more about his napping. Give him a few minutes of free time and he's sure to close his eyes and drift away. The war would certainly disrupt his sleep schedule. What an interesting fellow. Well, you should write him and let him know it's safe to return. Are you sure you're all right? You're not pushing yourself too hard. I'm flat. But fine. Please don't worry about me. All right. I'll let you relax alone then. Oh, but here, take this. What is it? It's a pass scroll. It might come in handy. Please keep it if you like. Thank you, Jill. I will. Good night, Mili uh, Good night, Lady Micaiah. And we get pass. Cool. Ooh. I like that little. Uh, I like that little conversation. It shows, like you know, Micaiah. Um, being real exhausted from being um, the priestess of dawn, which is kind of cool. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of this part of the game is to sort of, I mean, they do it. That. Yeah, they do it a lot throughout part one, even from the beginning. But Micaiah is a, a folk hero. People, the people of Dayan love Micaiah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's something to see her get all tired from that. It's also really something to see, you know, not, not blatantly stated but you get to see micaiah really kind of seeing through jill a little bit not in a not in a suspicious or malicious way but just the kind of intuition that micaiah has about a lot of things and a lot of people um we get to um we don't we don't get his name dropped but everyone knows that jill's talking about har which is cool mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. and pass is good so uh let's go on um before we go on uh, i would like to mention something mm -hmm. this is the chapter where i fell in love with this game Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Very important chapter. Sure. Um, do you want me to give a, like... Uh, what, 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 are, what are the words that I'm trying to say with my mouth? Um, pudding brain. Uh-huh. Um, do you want me to give what a... What is the word? There it is. Prediction. 
prediction that, uh, like, for, like, what the fuck is gonna happen in this chapter. Sure. Because he who? You had said it was called One Survives. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. So we know that this inspection team is coming. Mm -hmm. We know that Gerard is getting thrown under the bus and his right-hand man, and they're trying to come up with a plan with this fight plan thing. Yep. Who in Dayan is going to look at them and snap them like a twig who's not dead? Three of the four generals died last time, and one is a big old question. Is he going to fight the goddamn Black Knight? <laughs> is he going to fight the goddamn Black Knight? Hold up. No, nah, it's Tornado. Okay. All right. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that, too. <clears throat> like I said, I like big, chunky armor. Sure, okay. Tornado's cool. Man, I thought I was on to something. All right, fine. <laughs> Don't mean to ruin your fun or anything. Mm. <sighs> you know, what is it? You don't need to slip away from the banquet, too. You didn't need to, rather. Silly you. You're kind of a mysterious bird, you know that? How is it you can fly around even at night? Oh, Yune. For some reason, I feel... so tired lately. But it won't be long. Yune is just like, what, did you want me to stay at the banquet and hang out with Peleus and Izuka? <laughs> Oh god, does Peleus stop breathing when he eats? Oh gosh. Uh oh. Peleus, you have to breathe, idiot. <laughs> the bastard is Zuko, you told me to stop. <laughs> so this is my favorite. I'll do that all day. So I'll do Peleus and Zuko children. all day. <laughs> Dane will be mine and I won't have to deal with these. God. You get to the point where we're where we're uh, where you're able to have people like sub and donate and stuff like that. It's just like somebody donates like twenty bucks and you and I do fucking Izuka and Pelius. The oh whole my fucking gosh! Stream. We just read lines from freaking Drake and Josh as Izuka and Pelius. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Drake, where's, where's the door? <laughs> the last. <laughs> alright, alright, well, we gotta we gotta keep going here. Okay, we're gonna uh -huh. get in the weeds, but that's amazing. <sighs> Megan! <laughs> I'll go back home to Navasa, and then save Dayan. So, you escaped the idiot's ball to be alone. How trusting of you, silver-haired maiden. No, I'm sorry. Priestess of Dawn. If you really can work miracles, you'd best work one up for yourself now. Uh, uh, G General Jared, you completely give us a position away. Mm -hmm. She's still like 30 feet away. What are you doing? What? Oh! Benyon soldiers! Uh, we've got Micaiah, who is fortunately, um, like, max level, but, uh, 11 speed and 4 defense is really bad still. We have pass, because we didn't put it away. Mm -hmm. Reposition. I guess I'll put Micaiah here. <laughs> no, 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 you gotta put her there! No. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on a second. 
There, okay. There we go. Perfect. General Gerard, why are you here? I'm doomed thanks to you, but if I have to go down, I'm taking someone with me. The Vice General to the Dayan Liberation Army, the revered Priestess of Dawn. Even if you kill me, the Kingdom of Dayan will be reborn. As long as the Prince survives, the people will fight. Ha! The Prince. He's a sham. A travesty. A clod of mud no amount of polishing could shine. Shut up, Elias! You're 13 miles away, and I can hear you breathing! The real jewel, <laughs> whose radiance attracts people like moths to flame, is you, Priestess. And so I shall steal you and extinguish Dayan's light of hope. No despair, Priestess of Dawn. Is no one cares. <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> uh -huh. Who are you? Be at ease, maiden. I shall not let him harm you. I was once one of the four riders serving the army of old Dayan. If you recall mm -hmm. the name of the Black Knight, you will withdraw from this place at once. Mm hmm. Right, that's precious. You're the bl legendary Black Knight. Maybe you hadn't heard, he died in the war. But let's put your claim to the test, if only to indulge my own amusement. Then have at me, and learn your own folly. In due time. But before I bother, why don't you have a go-round with my restless minions? Douse the torches! Maiden, I shall be your shield. Remain by my side. I will. I know I can trust you. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to bite my tongue. Mm -hmm. Yep. So did I. <laughs> I, uh. Remember how you said you haven't had any zingers yet? Yep. Fucker. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> uh, so this is the Black Knight. Um, we're familiar with him from Path of Radiance. Mhm. Mm Except this is a whole new ball game. Because we get to play. Because as we him. get to play as the Black Knight. Mhm. Mm Man, I'm furious. <laughs> yep. I'm furious that you're just... No, it's Tornado. All right. <laughs> you're like, sure, oh, yeah. that would have been cool, though. <laughs> well, it is. Oh, I couldn't spoil that for you. I couldn't. Uh, so when I talk about this being a, a formative game for me, this is one of those moments. This is one of those moments where um, I fell in love with this game. Um, being able to play as the Black Knight, who... When I played this game, I had zero context for. Um, I, I I saw him and his chonky armor and his legendary sword with a proper name, uh, and I, I, I it it's stronger than the kind of um, the kind of feeling you get when you play as Mewtwo uh, when you catch Mewtwo for the first time in the old Pokemon games. This is um, well, let me give you a taste. And Nakaya can talk to him. <clears throat> Sir Knight, how did you know I was in danger? That is not important right now. Are you injured? No, I'm alright. Maiden, stay by me. I will not let them harm you. I know you won't. Thank you. Oh, actually, I can zap this guy. 
Also, Sean, the, uh, the map music is posted in New Horizons. It's a real mm -hmm. good one. My assumption is typically that you end up posting the YouTube link to it, and if not, mm -hmm. sometimes I'll look it up. Oh! Look at him. <laughs> oh, all of his animations are so powerful. Watch this. I I I I noticed for the first time uh, during this um, during this map uh, that he has a uh, two range when he attacks. Um. This animation made my 13-year-old jaw drop. <laughs> I was like, wait, does he throw the... <gasps> it's like the Master Sword strike thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we can get him to Eclipse. Zero percent chance to do zero damage and no crits for you. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we're going to hit Micaiah. That's fine. She'll be fine. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. Yikes. That's fine. She's fine. I got a vulnerary off him too. Cool, you'll probably want to use that. Yeah, probably. Ah. <sighs> uh yeah, no. This um, uh, this was this was a formative moment for me as a uh, as a person of video games, as uh, being interested in Fire Emblem. Oh, gosh! Every movement is so powerful. Oh, I remember that crit. The... Yep. Oh, that crit. Oh, can we get oh. him to? Can we get him to? And he has his own battle theme, and his battle theme is called Unstoppable Destiny. I just, I, it just blows my mind. Maybe we can get him to Eclipse. Come on. Nope. Ugh. And he has like, he has like all these like scars on his armor now. <laughs> it's so cool. That's alright, Makai can take it. Miss, please. Miss, please. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I wanted. I wanted the weapon level. What were you asking for? What? Oh my gosh, missed. No. I remember when I first, this first time I tried to rescue Micaiah with Black Knight. Yep, unfortunately cannot. There we go. Oh, sweet spin move, Micaiah. You dancing. Dancing. There he is. And the only person that uh, he doesn't um, just kill outright in one hit is uh, Jared, but uh, we're going to change that. <laughs> well, we're going to see if he can uh, he can eclipse here. I see you're pretty impressed with yourself. Did you think the likes of you could be a worthy opponent for me? Know your place. Oh, 
Come on, do it. Nope. No damage. Boosh! <laughs> See you later, Bread. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you stuck with us this long. Bye, Bye. Bread. And this song right here that's playing uh, uh, for the um, for the background is called The Black Knight Lives. It's so good. Make your peace. This blow will be your end. <laughs> How kind of you. We've got one for you, Sean. Gug. Alda, you. Why are you here? I'd rather fight beside my general than create a distraction with the other soldiers. You idiot! Who asked you to join me? General Gerard, you are a terror to work under, but even so, I've always, look, I've always, look. <laughs> you don't say, don't, don't, you, don't you dare speak those last words. <laughs> <laughs> I will follow you and fight for you. To the very gates of the abyss. He was a good soldier. If a little weird. What now? Why don't you kill me? My sword is not made for those for killing those who will not raise their weapons. You've got to be kidding me! Stop! Stop it, both of you. A man has died protecting you. Don't waste his sacrifice. This is not the end. No, it's not. You would simply let him go. He's not ours to judge. He belongs to the Apostle now. I suppose he must bury his fallen friend and pray before facing her. You have my thanks for saving me. There is no need for thanks. Micaiah, are you safe? You! Micaiah, run! So, it's okay. This night just saved my life. What? Micaiah, do you know who this is? Everybody knows who he is, Soth. He's the Black Knight, one of the four riders under King Ashnard and the strongest swordsman. Exactly. The scum that General Ike defeated in Nato's castle in Crimea three years ago. So how can he be here now, alive? You are correct, Soth. Ike did defeat me in that battle, in a fashion. But as you can see, I managed to escape. What do you want? For Dayan to raise its banner as a kingdom once again. I came here to protect those who are necessary for that dream. Soth, General Gerard was here a moment ago. If the Black Knight hadn't, a stop, hadn't stepped in, Gerard would have killed me. What? But I don't see his corpse here, and that means he's still alive, isn't he? Yes. There's another.
another soldier who sacrificed his life protecting Gerard. I presume Gerard's burying him now. Oh! Oh, no. What is it? I see a dark cloud. It's dimming the light of hope. By letting Gerard go, Gerard go, I may have allowed something terrible to happen. You aren't sure? So, if I hadn't told you, but I haven't been feeling well lately. My mind feels foggy. The things I could always see clearly are now dim and vague. I may have committed us to an irreversible fate. I shall aid you. No matter what Gerard may plot, I will prevent it. Mikaya and I don't want your help. Stove. 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 <laughs> Stove. Stop that. In King Ashard's war, you served below General Ike, and you and the Black Knight were enemies. But now you are comrades in the, with the same goal: Dane's restoration. Listen to me. The Black Knight was Dayan's strongest general. We need him. And I am willing to serve. The Knight, that you would come to us now is surely the will of the Goddess. I thank you for your aid just now and ask you to lend us your strength a while longer. May my sword serve you well, Maiden of Dawn. I don't like this. And that's the end of chapter nine. <laughs> Sean. <laughs> I wasn't gonna let that one go. I wasn't gonna let that one go. But you called it. Sure did. <laughs> sure did. All right. Um. I guess I will give a prediction for this shit. Actually, first I'd like to feel uh, I'd like to, to 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 get a sense of how you're feeling about this chapter. I mean, it makes sense. You fought for day and uh somehow fucking survived even though our ending was different than the canonical ending. Uh you know, that's kind of how that shit happens. So, buh. I don't how or why he survived, uh, but he's here. Yep. Now, I sort of kept my mouth shut about the Black Knight throughout a lot of Path of Radiance. Um, I, I mentioned it briefly uh, when we first see him, but uh, the Black Knight is my favorite character in this game. Mm -hmm. And also probably in Fire Emblem. Um, but I... But the weird thing about that is that he's not anything like he was in Radiant Dawn. Or, I mean, I'm in, in Path of Radiance. Um, in fact, I don't really like him that much in Path of Radiance. Um, 
his lines are very, um, you know, mustache, mustache twisting villain. Um, and, uh, while he does have a very, uh, imposing presence and, uh, uh, you know, story relevance and, um, plays an important role, uh, I don't, like, I think as a, like, the role that he plays in the story is fine, um, and the role that he plays in the game is fine, but I don't like the way he's written. Um, that's completely on its head in this game. I actually kind of disagree with you, actually, to suggest that he's a mustache-twisting villain. I don't think that it was my interpretation of him. I mean, I've been a fan of him. Duh. He's, like, one of the primary antagonists of the last game. Mm -hmm. But I also don't think that he, like, ever really came off as a mustache-twisting villain for the most part. I well, only ever got those vibes from Ashnard. Yeah, no, I know. But what I mean by that is some of his lines where he's just going to... Like, when he talks to Grail as Grail is dying, where he's just like, I will torture your son and daughter if you don't give me the medallion. And when he's like, um, oh, now the son and daughter of Gawain are here, and I shall pull the family out by the root. He doesn't really care about those things. He's not like a, like a sadistic... I think he's more trying to get a rise than anything else i don't think that it's actually i think that those words are carefully chosen actually i don't think that it's said in rage or in anger or anything like that um, it's true it's true um i think like, that it's a calculated choice in in terms of um in terms of when he's talking to grail it it sort of makes sense as a threat as grail is dying to sort of like get him to you know hand over the medallion or the pop tart rather um <laughs> And right. although in terms of like his, his duel with Ike in Castle Natus, um, I guess, I guess it could be to try and, and, and get Ike worked up because yeah, so he fucks up. Yeah. But <clears throat> when it comes to, when it comes to his motivations and path of radiance and he says it to Ashnard, um, he wants to fight Grail's successor. And uh, when he first meets Ike, Ike is just some punk kid. And he's meant to be the kind of um, the kind of antagonist that the protagonist has to measure up to in the end. And that's why the fight against him in Chapter 27 is so important, because it's a show of not only, like, as a character, how has Ike grown, but as a unit. How have you, how have you invested in Ike to have him essentially 1v1 the Black Knight? Which, it's technically not if you train Mist, but we didn't. Hmm. Bless you. Okay. But this moment, chapter nine, um, was mind blowing for me as a kid. Uh, seeing the Black Knight show up because because General Gerard is like this real stuck up, annoying, um, stink man for like the whole of part one, and you're just like, man, this guy sucks. Uh. But he's also, like, really kind of dangerous. You see him just, like, murder people in the streets, and Micaiah's by herself, and all of a sudden, uh, in comes the Black Knight with this teleportation magic, huge chonky armor, legendary sword, invincible stats, who can one-shot people from two spaces away. And, uh... And then all of a sudden, um... That's, that's happening. And you get to play as him. I thought it was unbelievably cool back then. And, um, you know, that was before understanding anything about him or why he's here or what he wants. Um, but especially the way they talk about him being like a ghost of the old war of like, and, and, and me not having played Path of Radiance before that is just kind of like, oh, more of this like cool history about, you know, this world. Uh, playing Radiant Dawn first made me feel like the world was very lived in. Like, um stuff happens regardless of my engagement with it. It gave this, it gave this world credibility and history and, and intrigue. And I wanted to know more and more about it. Um, and it didn't baby you with expedition, ex, expedition, exposition dumps, but at the same time told you enough that you needed to know for things to make sense. Um, and I think that holds true. I think that Radiant Dawn um, handles its expedition, ex, exposition pretty well even if you haven't played Path of Radiance mm. it leaves enough for me to have enjoyed going back and playing Path you know and uh, but but still gave me enough to make sense of what's going on in this game 
which is cool. It's hard to do that. Alright, well. Sean is not impressed. <laughs> I I don't I hate this game, but what a good to play the radiance. Uh, I think that it seems that the game executes on that well. Uh, we're coming straight off the path of radiance, so like, you know, it's like we have all this background information, but I can imagine that coming into this fresh, which, yikes, uh, <laughs> it it gives you enough that you can play the game and have a pretty okay idea of what's going on. Yeah. Lots strokes. Yeah. Um. Uh. Which is cool. Which is cool. But um, there's plenty to be learned. However. Uh, next chapter, chapter 10, is going to be the end of part one. Woo! Right. Well, I have some thoughts. Yeah, please share. All right. So, end of chapter one. Uh, Gerard's been left alive. So right. now he knows the Black Knight's on Micaiah's side. His right hand has died. He's going to be inspected and probably found guilty because the senators suck. I think that he's going to, like, lose his mind a little bit, probably. He's going to hole up in a fucking... Fuck it, fuck it. He's going to hole up in Navasa. Like, actually, factually, just in Day and Keep. And be like... Fuck you, I'm the king now. I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna just get revenge and kill everybody in this fucking town. And Fuck I'm going to eat all the turkey and no one can tell me no because I'm the king of Dan for 30 seconds before I'm destroyed! Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's very much the vibe that I get. I don't know. If that's, that might be nuts. That might be horrifyingly nuts. I have no idea. <laughs> but I feel like, but I feel like, right, like Gerard's the main antagonist of this part. It's yes. the conclusion of that he's been left alive. He's gonna snap. Because everything that he cares about is falling away from him. The whole world has come crashing down around him. Yeah. So he's going to burn it down, I think. Yeah, that's an interesting That's an interesting take. I like that. <laughs> but. <clears throat> but it remains to be seen. It remains right. to be seen. Um, and but... we'll find out next time. No, 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 next time. <laughs> but I am super looking forward to it. You always are. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love this game. It's not saying anything new. I know, I know. Listen, I will, I will play Radiant Dawn every day. Um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, next time is probably gonna be tomorrow. Yeah. If y'all are around and up for it. Hell yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Most likely. <clears throat> Until. To... Yeah. Um. Well, no, I was just going to say, like, according to what Atom has said, um, we may only be playing until about 3 p.m. your time. Mm -hmm. um, so then we can go up after we take a short and... break for food slash shower slash whatever. Uh, well, it remains to be seen if we will continue without him, but we can discuss that kind of stuff off stream. So we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Yep. In the meantime, um, thanks for stopping by for uh, one of my favorite chapters. Um, uh, uh, and uh, we'll be seeing you guys soon, probably tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye, stream. Bye. Bye.